Okay, so this is our document that we just created, and the three columns that we specified are marked by these purple lines. These purple lines are non-printing lines. So, for example, if I go over to my toolbox here, at the very bottom, there's the different viewing modes. Right now I'm in normal, because um, normal normally you want to see the non-printing lines because they show you where to put your images and your text. Um, but when you want to view what it's going to look like printed, then you can change it to preview and all those non-printing lines disappear. You can also see that the area outside of your document is gray now and that area is called your pasteboard. It's nice to have a pasteboard because for example if I were to draw something go back to normal mode, draw a box here. And then um, I wanted to keep it, but I didn't want to, I wanted to print my document without the box. I can put it off to the pasteboard. And then, let me switch to preview mode here, it's not invisible. It's, it's invisible. And so I can print without the, the box, but I still have it there. It's still on, in, it's still part of the document. So I don't have to delete it. I can just move it away off to the side. And what's really convenient is to know the shortcut for these two viewing modes. If you press W, it switches them back and forth. Because you constantly want to go back to, to seeing your grid and then viewing it again, how it's going to look printed. So instead, it may seem like not such a big deal to move your mouse over to the toolbox and select the little down arrow there, grab a different view, but it's a lot faster just to hit W. A lot of the other tools also have these little drop-down menus. So if you see a little triangle on the corner of a tool um, icon, then you know that there's other, other options underneath. So, um, just something to be aware of. That's the toolbox, and we're going to go over all the basic tools later. For now, I want to just quickly go over these other menus here. So the top one, the one that says InDesign, File, Edit, Layout, Type, Object, Table, etc. This is called your menu bar. It goes all the way across. And I think it looks a little bit different on a PC. Maybe it's converged with the application bar down below. I think. I have to check again. Go back and forth. And so on my screen, the application bar is separate and we have Adobe Bridge, um, also different viewing modes and another option for viewing. So you have one source up here and then one in the toolbox. And then down, and there's also um, different ways of displaying multi-document, multi, like if you have five different documents open, you can arrange them differently, but right now since we only have one, it's not going to really make a difference. Um, one important option in the application bar is the workspace picker. Um, these are preset works, predefined workspaces. So we have advanced, book, digital publishing. Um, we want to stick with essentials just so that we're all on the same page. Later on, you can customize your workspace, but just so you know, when you click on a different one, whoops, when you click on a different one, it changes the panels. These are these little windows on the side here. So um, if you look here on typography, it changes the panels that are along the side. So we're, like I said again, we're going to keep it at essentials.